What is going on, everyone? Shaking Big 2355 here. Welcome back to the Oakland A's franchise here on the channel. Today, our 44 and 44 Oakland A's right at 500 travel to Cleveland to take on the 56 and 30 first place Cleveland Indians on the mound for the Indians will be Carlos Carrasco, his 18th start of the year. He's 12 and 4 with a 2.57 ERA, a whip under one. 105 strikeouts over 122 and two-thirds innings pitched. Pretty good season for him so far. Chris Bassett makes his 15th start for us. He is 5-5 five five with a ERA of 4.21 and a whip of 1.42. So not having the best season. Uh, he has a very good chance he could get sent down. So he needs to pitch well. This is his opportunity. Bottom of the second inning. Steven Piscotti, don't know if he loses it. In the sun or what happens here, but has a hell of a time trying to track the ball. And this is actually going to come around. Edwin Encarnacion, not a very fast guy these days. It's going to be ruled an E9, so it's not a home run, but one nothing Cleveland just like that. Later in the inning, two on, two out. Trace Thompson going to get over there and put this one away so they get out of it, giving up the one unearned run. Top of the fourth inning, runner on first place for Chris Davis. And he's going to go the other way. And a little bit of a fielding error for their right fielder. As for some reason, he dives instead of pulling up. And that's going to get Simeon all the way home for first base. And Davis starts to go home, but then does go back to third. It's ruled an RBI triple. His second of the season for Davis. 1-1. One, one. Later in the inning. I'm sorry, very next batter, actually. Mark Canna playing for the... Injured Matt Olsen, he's day-to-day. -day. He should be back here in a couple days. Does get the RBI ground out. 2-1 Oakland now. Fast forward to the bottom of the fourth inning. Two on, two out. Bassett gets out of a jam there, striking out the batter to retire the side through four in Cleveland. Bottom of the sixth inning, facing Edwin Encarnacion. And that 2-1 lead goes bye-bye. The solo shot for Encarnacion, his 17th of the season. So on pace for about 34 for him. That, I, that's average for him, I think. So it is a 2-2 game. Bassett just could not keep that uh, from hooking foul. Very next batter, Tyler Naquin. This time the left side of the plate. And it looked like we had a chance to maybe run it down. And hopefully it was only going to be a double, but it ended up being a solo shot for Naquin, his seventh of the season. And the Indians go back to back on us to reclaim the lead 3 to 2 in the bottom of the sixth. Top of the seventh inning, Matt Chapman with one out. Nobody on, 1 1 count. Gonna drive a double just between the center fielder and left field, or I'm sorry, right fielder. So he gets in there with a one out double. And that would be all for Carlos Carrasco, Terry Francona. Comes out and pulls him. Bringing in Matt Belisle. His 18th start of the year. ERA under 2. And uh, just absolutely killing right-handed batters. 11 strikeouts and 18 and a third. He would face Trace Thompson. With 2 outs and Chapman on 2nd base. And Thompson teeing off. He did this just about a month ago. Actually won us a game because of a go-ahead. Home run in the bottom of the 8th. This one comes in the top of the 7th for his 12th home run of the season. A's taking a 4-3 lead with two outs in the 7th. And he has not had a great season for us, but he has come up big in certain moments. So now go bottom of the 7th. Emilio Pagan, just off fresh off the DL, is the pitcher as Bassett would go 6th innings. And he's going to end up giving up a RBI single here. It's going to end up going, the runners end up going to second uh, because Davis throws it home and is not cut off. So now tie game at four. But we are going to get out of it as Luke Croy cleans up at first. But it is a tie game nonetheless. He's Merrill Petit now in to pitch the eighth inning for the A's. His 33rd appearance of the season. He's been the rock of our bullpen for the most part. 
But right here, he's going to give up a solo shot to rookie catcher Francisco Mejia of the Cleveland Indians. His, I believe, eighth home run of the year it is. Not really sure on that, but it is a 5-4 go-ahead home run in the bottom of the eighth inning nonetheless. And that would put the A's down to their final three outs. Cody Allen on to make the save, his 27th appearance. In for his 23rd save attempt. He's a 1-5-2 ERA, so he's having a very good season. Chris Davis going to lead off the ninth, so at least the heart of the order is up. And he'll start with a base hit. That would bring up uh, first Boog Paul will come in to pinch run for him. Just to get a little more speed on the bases. And then Mark Canna will be the next batter with one out. I'm sorry, nobody out, one on. It's going to squeak through the infield there. Boog Powell is going to get over to second. So we have two on and nobody out. Now two on, one out for Jonathan LeCroy. Chapman straked out looking. LeCroy puts a ride on this one into right field. Powell's going to tag from second and go over to third. But we are down. So we have runners on the corners. Time to run 90 feet from home, but we are down to our final out. Trace Thompson, the hurt hero earlier in the game. Looking to do it here, but he will not. And that's a 4-3 ground out to end the game. The Indians hang on to win this thing by a score of 5-4. They improve to 57-30 and 30 on the year. And our A's fall to 44-45, and 45, falling under 500. As we continue to kind of hover right around 500. Uh, but Bassett, he didn't pitch terribly. He got hit that bad anywhere. He gave up the two back-to-back -back homers. And then, of course, the unearned run in the second inning. That ended up being the difference in this one. And uh, Cody Allen gets the save for the Indians. His 23rd of the season. Like I said, Encarnacion 2-4 was the big bat for them. Uh, Francisco Mejia, uh, he actually led the team, though, with three hits. And essentially the game-winning home run. So it was actually his fourth home run of the season. I said eighth earlier. Lindor had that air in the first inning for them. Carrasco goes six and a third. Six hits, three earned, two walks, three strikeouts. So not his best outing. And then for us, Chris Davis led the way with three hits. Thompson arguably had the biggest hit. Uh, but it was four not as we did get the loss anyway. And then Chapman had his 11th double on the season. Thompson with his 12th home run. Piscotti got charged with that error, which was the basically game-defining run. And then Bassett goes six, gives up six hits, three runs, two earned, two walks. Did strike out eight, so pretty good day for that. Lowers the ZRA a little bit. And the bullpen pretty much let us down in this one. As Pagan gets the blown save, Petit gets the loss. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you want to enjoy it, please do leave a like down below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more Oakland A's franchise. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.